Tonight, for the first time, the family of a West Michigan med student killed in Ann Arbor is releasing a statement. This comes as investigators are now confirming that Paul DeWolf, a Schoolcraft native, was killed by a single gunshot wound. This is now a homicide investigation, although no suspects have been named. There were no signs of a break-in at his apartment. Now, tonight, his family sent us a statement saying, quote, Paul was a remarkable human being. He was excited about starting his military career. His life came to an end in his prime. He will be missed in the deepest possible way. As we struggle to understand what happened, we know that Paul is now in heaven with his savior. He has completed his final race and is now claiming his prize. Tonight, police are stepping up their patrols in the Ann Arbor neighborhood near U of M's campus where Paul was found. And 24 Hour News 8's Tom Helen spent the day talking with people who live there. The lawns are cut. No one worries about being out and about on this beautiful summer day. A day much like Wednesday, when the body of Paul DeWolf, a promising med student, was found inside this house. Shocked um, because it is such a quiet, peaceful neighborhood. You don't really hear anything about robberies or homicides or anything like that. Something echoed by her roommate. It was very surprising. This is a really safe neighborhood and we've never had any problems before. In an area where you don't think twice about taking a walk or riding your bike, it's filled with safe people who make fine neighbors. It's mostly graduate students and medical students, so it's really unusual that something would happen. Today we learned DeWolf's apartment was in order and that it didn't appear any of his valuables had been taken. Gabrielle Granadas and Katie Endel live next door to where the homicide happened and on the same day had a break-in of their own. Just the fact that it happened next door um, and like Endel said that we had our break-in around the same time um, and the fact that nothing ever really happens around here like that so it is a bit concerning. And though they have faith the police will catch whoever is behind this, the girls say they are taking no chances. We've been taking more precautions, um, definitely locking the doors and windows every night, um, not opening or keeping the door open as often as usual that we do in the summer. So far, police not releasing any sort of a suspect description at this point. Those that we spoke with that live in this neighborhood say they are paying much closer attention to who is walking around their streets. In Ann Arbor, Tom Hill and 24 Hour News 8. We do have the entire statement released by the DeWolf family tonight. That's posted at woodtv.com.